Do you know what every single personal injury case has to have? Every personal injury case has to have credibility, meaning that the information that you're providing is truthful and accurate, and it is without question um, above board. And the point I'm making here is that if you've been injured in uh, a collision through no fault of your own, and you make a call to an attorney, you speak to uh, an intake person, you will always be asked about prior existing conditions. If you've injured your knee, for instance, in this collision, uh, you'll be asked, well, have you had a prior existing injury to that very same knee? And we expect you to be truthful. And if the answer is no, we're gonna believe you. Uh, if the answer is yes, we're gonna ask you about uh, that uh, prior existing condition. So we can get all the information that we need and, and we'll put that in your file and we will disclose that along the way. But what happens if you don't disclose that information? If you have this trick knee that you've dealt with for a long time and, and you don't tell the intake person, and you don't tell the attorney, and you don't tell uh, your treating professionals, and you go through a course of treatment for this, this injured knee, uh, racking up you know thousands and thousands of dollars in, in medical care, and at the conclusion of your case, we present that demand to the insurance company for compensation for your pain and suffering and all the treatment that you went through. Um, we are doing that on your behalf uh, based on the premise that this is an injury that's new to you. And what could happen, and what does happen, because it always happens, is that when it gets discovered, not if it gets discovered, when it gets discovered that you have a prior existing condition, you're done. You are done, your case is over, okay? Because your credibility is shot. And it doesn't matter that, ooh, I forgot, if you wanna say that, um, because chances are, it doesn't matter what the excuse is at that time. It's information that was known or should have been known and it was treated as though it never existed. And the insurance company is not gonna deal with that, okay? What, what will happen is they're gonna say, hey, this is uh, an injury that was uh, prior existing. We didn't cause this injury. We might have exacerbated it, you know? We're not saying he didn't or she didn't re-injure that knee. But you're treating like this uh, is the first time this has happened and there's more value to a new injury than there is to uh, an injury that was uh, aggravated as a result of having a collision. And all that time is wasted. You've wasted the insurance company's time, you've wasted the attorney's time, the resources that go into putting a demand together. It's a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot of time. It's not you know some cookie cutter fill in the blank form and you know give me money. There is a lot of specialized um, resources that go into uh, treating and, and processing a personal injury case. And when a client's credibility is shot, it, it's very unfortunate. So my point is, be truthful. Always be truthful in life, no matter what you do. Be truthful. Right, and, and, and because we can deal with a prior existing injury. We can, you know, th it's a process too. I mean, this is an, this is an injury to a prior existing condition and, and that's a, a path to follow, okay? But to ignore um, or not disclose a prior existing condition, you, you are doing everyone a disservice, including yourself. So if you ever are in a situation where you have to call an attorney based on being injured in a, a, a collision or a slip and fall or a dog bite, talk about everything. When you are asked about prior existing conditions, tell us, tell us, there's no reason not to, okay? Tell us everything, we'll write it down. If things need to be held confidentially, we'll hold things confidentially. Um, but for the most part, say what you need to say to your attorney and, and uh, there's a guy going the wrong way. This is why I'm hesitating. There's a guy going the wrong way down a one-way street. So, you know, hopefully nothing happens uh, bad here. But in any event, um, I hope that's good information for you. And I hope you have a good day. Thanks.